Hey, how's it going? It's been over two months since I did my last live commentary video and today we're gonna go right back to it. I haven't edited down the footage yet so it's about two hours of raw footage so I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty long like the others so if you're concerned about the length it's because this is a full run with live commentary rather than the usual heavily edited and scripted content that you are used to. Now some of you guys seem to like this and I enjoy the change up of live thoughts and reactions a few times a year so here you are and I hope you enjoy it and I'm gonna keep this very brief and I believe I'll talk about why I chose horsey and the stats and stuff when we get into the footage and I won't keep you guys too long in the intro but before we begin I'd like to say very quickly that I like to do solo run content often and if that sounds like something you might be interested in consider subscribing to be kept up to date likes and comments are really what helps channels grow and to show YouTube that people are engaging with my content so if you want to help out, get other like-minded individuals in on the channel, whether you are a returning viewer like Jack Ruby, or maybe this is your first video, or maybe you just don't ever really think about commenting, or maybe you're just tired of other channels that never respond to your comments, just scroll down and type in Newtster for some positive Newt Newt vibes in your future. So with that out of the way, sit back, relax, grab yourself a soda pop, and I'm just going to let the live commentary take over. Hey, I'm sure I did a an intro for this already, but today guys we're back at it once again with um, a live commentary video. So this time I'm going to try to learn from my mistakes uh, from the... Uh, I'm already losing my train of thought here, haven't done a live video in a while. Uh, learn from my mistakes in the Vulpix video, and I'm hoping that we can uh, just cut some things out and have a smoother experience. So you might be wondering, hey, hey Matt, why horsey? Why are you doing horsey? Well, we can see it's base stats. Let's just talk about that real quick. It's HP is absolutely pathetic, and it's going to cause us a lot of problems. Um, and other than that, it's just one day I want to do a Sanqui run with Cedra or Kingdra. So I need to get this out of the way. I don't want to do Cedra back to back. So I figured I'd go ahead and do horsey. And uh, since I'm moving and stuff, I want to get out as much content as I can. So we're going to do horsey, and we'll get back to regular stuff. I should be moved in, and I should have a new PC ready to go um, by the time this video releases. I'm doing this right after the Palkia video, and I don't want to talk too long right now. I know we're just sitting here, the game time's running, but I will restart in just a second. Uh, but the Palkia video, honestly, not up to my standards of quality. And I figured it out a little too little too late. I was trying to downsize it. I'm having a lot of trouble with my PC. Uh, this one's on its last legs. So I was trying to eke out, um, stop my computer from overheating. So I was downscaling the uh, resolution. And it just doesn't look that great. So if you notice that, I do apologize. Now, the only thing I'm going to say about Horsey before we just dive in is that Horsey's a dragon type. I remember it being whatever 96 97 whenever the games came out whenever I was in the fifth grade I remember I used to be fascinated by looking at the tops of Pokemon like their tops what kind of Pokemon they are and I always remember thinking Horsey and Seedra how why are they the dragon top Pokemon it doesn't make any sense but it's known to shoot down flying bugs with precision blast of ink from the surface of the water but anyway guys uh, today's nickname is going to be uh, Newt Newt and if you don't know what Newt Newt is, it was a British TV show, Pingu the Penguin. Um, I don't know. I'm not British. I'm from the Deep South, but it was a meme. And the way this has its little uh, nose, I guess. Nose, mouth, little honker. It looks like the Newt Newt. And that's what we're going with today. So I'm going to reset. And we're going to not have seven minutes of in-game time on the first rival battle. Sorry for talking too long. We are playing on the Gen 2 patch with the Gen 2 uh, sprites. Because I think, I, I usually pick which one of these ROMs I'm going to do uh, just solely based off of what sprite I think is the best. So I think next week, I think after this, I'll probably be doing Charizard and Moltres. I want to do those two fire flying types. But this battle is horrible. There's not much to say. I don't think I'm actually doing pretty well this time, but I've never won this battle. I've tested this run twice. I've never won this battle. 
I almost won it. That would have been nutty. But I'm not going to retry because I've never won this battle. So Horsey only starts with Bubble. Uh, it's not great. And honestly, Bubble is one of the weakest moves in the entire game. What does it have? 20 base power? I can't look that up. I probably could real quick, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. 20 base power. It's absolutely pathetic. And Horsey does have some pretty decent special. But it's not great. Now, in this next little section right here, and this is something that I had to test out a lot. Uh, there was a couple of test runs for this one. Um, it's not going to be a Vulpix run where it's like, oh my god, this run's so surprising. It was so hiddenly good. I don't know how, why it was so good. This one's not going to be great, I don't think. But you could do the one mandatory bug catcher and then go straight to Brock and beat him very easy. But if you do that, you set yourself up for failure. Uh, you will just struggle on many different parts of the game and you have to train here just a little bit. The goal here is to pretty much fight everything outside of a couple of trainers. I don't think we can beat... Um, God, I only got one potion. I should have bought some. Or no, you can't even buy potions here, can you? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Either way, I can't beat the optional rival fight and I can't beat... Um, uh, light years junior trainer it's just too hard and it's kind of sh uh, shocking a little bit if you think about it because the light years junior trainer is weak to water but bubbles just so inherently weak that there's just no way now i'm probably gonna have to backtrack here i'm getting down to actually i might be able just to make it through but we'll find out yeah we barely skimmed by we have three bubbles left uh, that's pretty much all the optional fights I'm going to do. Just picked up a couple of extra for now. Um, like I said, you could you could just go straight mandatory bug catcher straight to Brock and win. Uh, but today, I have, I know the routing. I have a little notepad here and I have my, my adjustments to make from my practice runs. Uh, and even though Brock is absurdly easy, like he's nothing. He's absolute trash. Uh, as he always is when you have a water top we need the levels now I think it shouldn't have hit well no three bubbles wouldn't have been enough I made the right call in healing I don't want to talk too much I know I'm trying to cut out as much as I can because the Vulpix run I kind of got a little chatty and I'm feeling a little chatty today boys so if I go on a little bit too long I'm sorry I actually forgot to buy so I'm going to go ahead and heal because uh, coming up is I don't think we need Bide. I think I tested out Bide a lot, and we'll talk about that later. But, yeah, let me go ahead and just get this inventory. I'm going to heal real quick. It's a waste of time, and I'm actually over-buying some potions here, more than I normally buy, because uh, we're kind of in for a pretty rough... I would say pretty rough first 20 levels. Like, it's not great. Now, Youngster, Shorts Youngster, I like Shorts Youngster, is uh, the first potential reset of the run. Uh... Horsey's HP stat is just so bad. You see how weak I am? This reminds me of the Parasect run, and I don't think Scott's probably hasn't made a video yet, but I will make my video eventually. But this was... This, this fight's awful. Yes, double Leer, that means we get passed on the first try. Now, I would like as the least amount of resets as I could actually get. That would be perfect. I would love to have that. So, if I can avoid any resets I had on other runs, that's perfect. And there's not much to this early game, guys. Uh, essentially, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to clear the path up to the Mount Moon Poke Center. And I'm going to pretty much battle a lot of optional trainers. My goal is to be about level, at least level 17 uh, going into Cerulean. But I would really, really, really like to be level 19 so I can avoid using rare candies. But if I'm only level 17, I will use both of my rare candies here uh, to level up. So I'm not going to show all this uh, tedious grinding. And I feel like I've kind of talked a little bit too much. So we're going to cut ahead. When I stop ahead, I'll tell you what level I am. We'll be outside of Mount Moon. There's nothing to get in there. Water Gun is right at the start. And I will be picking up that for sure. But outside of that, not too interesting. Okay, we're wrapping up uh, Mount Moon. And I'm so close to level 19 to achieving my goal. Uh, I, I pretty much I skipped a couple of trainers just because like the um, the double grass last 
Uh, wouldn't have been great with Bubble. Oh, look at this Clefairy. I love this Sprout. It's so good. This should get us to level uh, 19. And that's exactly what we need. We learned Smoke Screen. And that's okay, I guess. It's like Sand Attack. It's like the... It's like Daniel and the cooler Daniel, you know? But it's uh, smoke screen, it's like sand attack, the cooler. What am I saying? Who cares? Let's move it on. Now this uh, pecking Godine here, this Goldine, which was the bane of everybody's existence in the Parasect run, uh, is it great? And we're about to reach a little segment where we're gonna be very reliant on smoke screen. Now look at what's gonna be happening here. I'm just smoke screening a lot. Bubble does very pathetic damage, but I do kind of want to hang on to my uh, water gun, so we're just like, we're ever so slowly whittling this thing down. And this is the best alternative, and you might be thinking, hey Matt, why don't you just face rival number uh, two, but our damage is so bad that I, I can't. Like, I just, I simply can't. I should have just healed. It's not too late to heal. No, no. No. Not like this. I might reset here. I don't know. This was very painful, but we almost hit level 20 off of it. Which is pretty cool. That's pretty good. So, Misty. Let's go ahead and just talk about Misty. This fight isn't great. This is just another case of early game fights that just aren't that great. These sprites are really good though. I hope you appreciate them as much as I do. Now, I'm recording a lot of this stuff in bulk before I move, so I'm not gonna know. Even back to the War Turtle video, or like even my vlog video and stuff like that, like I just don't know what you guys are gonna think about this stuff. So like, there might be a bunch of people that are like, I love the shitty uh, red and blue sprites. You should never change them, ever. But, go make your own channel. You know what I'm saying? Like. Don't fight me. Anyway, we're level 20. That's great. I don't mean to argue with you. This looks like a loss because... Because it doesn't matter if you hit smoke screen on the... Okay, let's not get mad. It's too early in the day to get mad, guys. Let's dial it back and let's be happy. And let's just take our reset and move on. Because I knew this fight wasn't great. But it's fine. I mean, sometimes the Starmie just gets hit with three smoke screens and it just doesn't matter. And sometimes it just happens. Okay, so this fight just comes down to one thing. Can you get off a few smoke screens and make Starmie miss enough tackles to where you could just slowly chip it down? But Starmie just, it's impervious. It's impervious. It loves just to hit you through the stuff. Okay, nothing happened. I wasn't keeping track. But look how pathetic this damage is. All we can do is hope with six smoke screens set up that it'll miss every single turn. And this will get us... Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Bubble Beam. Yes. Thank God for Bubble Beam. I love Bubble Beam. Now, I didn't mean to battle that trainer, but it actually worked out pretty great. Pretty... Not great. I wouldn't say great. I need to temper my expectations for what great is. But it worked out okay. Uh, did I heal up? I sure did. Sometimes you just, you play this game so much, you just do stuff without even realizing it. Okay, so this fight becomes a lot easier now with Bubble Beam. Now keep in mind guys, I've tested this run, this entire run. Critical hit, perfect. Now, you can see that 11.72 is the crit chance. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's that great, but I swear that Horsey hits the most crits I've ever seen in my life for some reason. Now we still have smoke screen. We can take a vine whip. We set up about, am I just feeling it today? I'm just gonna say, yeah, see I hit six and it still hit a vine whip. So bubble beam does not so, <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I got hit with a sand attack this time and it doesn't seem like it really mattered. Please stop. Please stop hitting every single vine whip. What is your problem? Oh. That's a, okay. Okay. I don't know why I'm so irritated today. I'm not irritated. I just want the run to be perfect. Like, is that too much to ask? Like, I'm already sitting here at 48 minutes. Like, 
Can we go? Last time I forgot to move Bubble down, and I got hit with a Sand Attack. So this one isn't too bad. We avoided Sand Attack. Uh, Abra doesn't matter. We could use Bubble on it. It's so useless. Little pathetic little thing, whatever you want to say it is. A child? Didn't the lore say Kadabra used to be a child? And then that, uh, and then that, um, uh, magician or whatever tried to sue Pokemon because they said, Kadabra's based off of me, and you owe me money. Please, for the love of God. Okay, we did it. We did it. I went off on a tangent there, but we did it, and I think we are going to keep pressing on. I think we only have a few potions left. And I probably should have used one. I probably should have just healed. As a matter of fact, I think I'll probably just heal after this. So Nugget Bridge isn't going to be that interesting. Uh, now that we have Bubble Beam, we have significantly sped up the progress. And you guys know from my videos, uh, this fully scripted videos, uh, you know how things usually go once you get Bubble Beam or you get like a pretty high-powered move. So we're just going to try to preserve a little bit i'll pick up the elixir i'll use it if i have to but this is going to be overall pretty easy until the end so we'll pick back up for that i guess i still can't help myself from breaking habits from yellow i'm always thinking hey i'm gonna go up here and get charmander and it's never there and there's like five or six different little bitty habits from pokemon yellow that it's been a month since i've done the parasect race like can i not just get over it Okay, let's brace ourselves for one of the toughest trainers in the run. Uh, Double Oddish and Pidgey here. So all you can do here, Azorb is really weak. It's like the grass version of Bubble, basically a little bit better. But Smoke Screen, that's what we're gonna be doing. Smoke Screen, and just like we've seen earlier, uh, even resisted, Bubble Beam does not so insignificant damage. We just want to get some smoke screens off so it won't hit absorb because it does pretty decent damage. It's not as bad as like the fossils like on Kabuto or something like that, but you know, we're still weak to it. So that's not too bad actually. Um, the wrapping lasts after we do surge is going to be worse. Something I hate about Pokemon Red as well is that in yellow you automatically walk over to Bill. And normally I'd forget, I'm trying to break my habits here. I don't want to forget to dig. Or use escape rope there, we don't even have a dig yet. Oh my god, I didn't catch a Paris. Oh Jesus Christ, what do I do? I knew I was missing something. Can you buy escape ropes here? Oh god, help us all. If I could buy escape ropes, I, I could just... Oh no. We'll buy a couple of potions though. <laughs> Give me a couple of them potions, girl. I repeat, code red. I forgot Paris. I forgot Paris. Perhaps I was thinking of Pokemon Yellow where you could just get Charmander and it uses Dig and Cut, but... Ugh, it's not great. I think we can recover. It's just... When can I buy escape ropes? Right? I don't know. I don't know when I can buy escape ropes. So we're doing some stuff on the fly. Now for me, when I was doing the Parasect run... Uh, and I know you guys are probably fucking tired of me talking about the Parasect run, but uh, there were some runs that were really good that I had. That, I, you know, they were really good and I made a mistake. Or like something changed, some variable that I didn't account for happened. And you had to kind of reroute yourself on the fly. And that's probably one of the most challenging things in an actual real life speed run ever. So. This is kind of similar to that. It's like, okay, well, I forgot my Paris. Or it would just be like catching your flyer on a real-life speed run or whatever. You would just basically uh, be like, okay, I need to catch a flyer later. So please, for the love of God, have escape ropes. There's no escape ropes here. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so this is going to cost us a little time, and we'll kind of look back at this at the end of the run. But I'm not going to redo it. I'm definitely not going to restart just based off of that. So let me... Let me reorder inventory real quick. So not only did I not catch a Paris, I didn't catch a Pokemon that could learn Cud either. Thank God. For, I've never been more happy to see a Bell Sprout in my life. Bubble Beam, please don't kill it. Rap. God, oof. Any of you watch The Simpsons, you know when Sideshow Bob hits the rakes and he goes, 
uh, or whatever. So it should be in a range where a Pokeball is like a guaranteed catch. Alright. We normally don't use a Paris, or par we usually use a Paris, but now we're using a Bell Sprout. And that's just fine. It's, we're, we gotta take what the good Lord has given us, you know, guys? Sometimes you gotta adapt and overcome. And there's no Body Slam. If, if we could learn Body Slam, it would be amazing. And this run would be a lot better than it actually felt during my testing. And I'm just gonna test something on the fly here. Can Water Gun knock this thing out? It can. Is Ponyta too tanky? It's not. Perfect. Alright, rival number three. Shouldn't be too bad. Crit, I'm telling you, Newt Newt is a crit machine. It's, it's amazing. I've never seen more crits in my life. Water Gun has been disabled. You fool. That's the move I don't care about. Alright, smoke screen strategies. We're going to be using smoke screen probably not too much longer, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't like it, but you have to deal with the moveset that you're given. But look how good the... Can I just say that the SSN looks amazing with this color palette? Does anybody else feel that way? Because I do. Bring it in, guys, because I feel it too. I don't know, can Bellsprout learn Dig? Why does a level 15 Bell Sprout know four moves? Jesus Christ, save some moves for the rest of us, buddy. Okay, something really important. This is kind of like Scott's Thoughts usually does this uh, in his runs, and it makes sense for a real lifetime run. I should have used an ether here, but I didn't. I'm actually going to smoke screen because Rap is probably the. It still hits it. Rap only has like a, what, 85% chance, and I got three smoke screens on it? How absurd. But anyway, I'm going to get rest here. And rest is going to be crucial to this run. And I, to my knowledge, I don't think I've ever gotten rest in any of my runs. But in my testing, it was the... I had to restart a run because I didn't have rest. And we'll see the, the, the major usefulness it has coming up very soon. Uh, level 27, that's pretty good. But yeah, rest... For now, we don't need it, but we will very, very soon. And uh, we're gonna have to waste some time because I think when we get done with Surge, we're gonna have to manually walk back because I don't have anybody that can use Dig. Unless, did I sell my Pokeballs? Oh my God, I kept the Pokeballs. The Poke Gods are shining upon me. I think I have an Ether. I picked up the Ether just in case. I honestly don't know why I picked up the ether, but I'm glad I did. So, cut. And with the new game hook software that I've been using, Crash Cam Puzzle, already solved. Now this fight is rough. That's all I gotta say, this fight's rough. I should probably hold off on it. I didn't even heal. Am I just asking to reset? Should I just reset now? Oh my god, unless I get the most lucky I've ever gotten in my entire life. It's gonna be a big fat L. At X speed, please. Ugh. Okay, that's my bad. That's user error. That's what we call a user error reset, guys. So I got a bunch of extra little potions. Let me go ahead and resave it. And we're not too bad. We can pull this thing around if I could just get on my route. I had to do a lot of extra grinding early game. Sonic Boom is not what I want to see, buddy. Double Sonic Boom. Not what I want to see, buddy. I just need X speed and some misses. That's not a miss at all, you little, you little cute rat. I love Raichu, but the solo run's gonna be awful, guys. Sorry about that. I know there's some Raichu fans. I personally love Raichu, but it's gonna be one of the most god awful runs we've ever seen in our life. Tackle. That's what I like to see. That's what daddy likes to see, boys. One shot here. Now, Thundershock or X Speed? X Speed. Ooh, critical hit. I'm getting nervous. I got four smoke screens on him. And he hits it. <sighs> Guys, the computer cheats. Like, it doesn't matter sometimes. Like, if the computer just. If the computer wants to cheat, it's gonna cheat. 
How many resets are we gonna rack up here? Because I don't know. Please just tackle. Thank you. Voltorb is a nice Pokemon. Bubble Beam one hit, that's a good Pikachu Sprite. X-Speed, yes. Thunderbolt miss, yes. It's missed three times in a row, but I'm just not stopping. Miss. <laughs> oh my god. What are the odds? You know, I don't even want to look up the odds right now. But just know that if, like, you got hit with a sand attack or you got hit with a smoke screen yourself, a hundred percent accuracy move would be reduced to 66 percent in gen 1. So it would absolutely cripple your accuracy. It's not the end of the world but then it just keeps compounding and just imagine if you get hit with like four or five and like it doesn't matter. He's just gonna hit the thundershock. We're gonna be here all day. I just can't believe it. Like, don't use Sonic Boom, you stupid ball. Um, four smoke screens. X speed. He's on two, and he hits the thunderbolt through two. He's, oh my god, he has like a 66 plus percent chance to miss. Like it's not even a coin flip. Like, two-thirds of the time, he's gonna miss. Probably more than that. I'm probably over... I'm probably underselling it right now. Stop using Sonic Boom, guys. My sanity right now. Newt Newt. I didn't struggle this much on testing, by the way. I was able to make it through eventually, but maybe because when I test, I don't I don't keep track of resets. X-Speed, great. Thundershock, not great. That's pretty stinky. Thunderbolt, ooh. Ooh. Okay, I feel like I can't just keep talking here guys. We'll just be on surge all day This will be a two hour long video and I'll just be sitting here Blabbing away at surge because I can't believe what's happening to me X speed perfect Thunderbolt not perfect fuck I got hit with the double sonic boom Oh god This is stinky this is just not good. This is just not what you want to see, guys. And I just know there's going to be somebody out there saying, Uh, why don't you just skip Surge and come back later? Oh my god, I survived. Hang on, I'll make fun of you in a second. Okay. Oh. Oh. Guys, if I skip Surge... He's still going to be awful later. A Thunderbolt's still going to gape open my asshole. So, it's not going to matter if I come back later. I just want to get this done now. I don't care if we're sitting at 90 resets at this point. I'm committed. I'm all in. Don't you guys get it? Please, please, please. Thunderbolt! Oh my god, we survived. <sighs> Pokemon Yellow Surge is absolutely pathetic. Pokemon Yellow Surge is absolutely dog water. He's trash. But Surge in Pokemon Red isn't that bad. I know J Rose tries to make this running joke about how Surge is whatever he's been doing. I haven't watched the last couple of videos, but he's always making some joke about Surge being bad. He's not that bad if you're weak to it. I mean, that's how gym leaders work, right? Please, God, just miss your moves little stupid rat just miss your moves one more we did it thank god thank Arceus we can't learn Thunderbolt because of course um, there's never been a Pokemon that gets worse coverage than uh, horsey this is like your typical your standard bog standard water move set you get ice moves and then maybe like a double edge the same thing so we're gonna do what we call a pro gamer move here guys I'm going to try to catch a Diglett now I'll let you guess why I'm trying to catch a Diglett bubble growl that's perfect we're catching a Diglett does Diglett already know dig? is that a dumb question? it does! Diglett already knows dig Diglett dig 
Any of you guys remember the anime episode where it's like, Diggle dig, diggle dig, trio, trio, trio. Did I just make sense to anybody? Anyway, this is good. And we're about to come up to potentially the hardest trainer in the entire run. So, we got that going for us. So without over leveling, um, the only way I can think of to take on the uh, wrapping last here is rest. It is the absolute only way I was able to do this without doing a bunch of extracurricular activities. Now this little son of a bitch right here is going to do something. Okay, it, it did something. I don't care. Rest means I don't care. I'm gonna smoke screen your little stupid ass eight times if I can. Now I should probably I should probably rest here. I'm gonna go ahead and rest. Because the um the setup for this one I've talked about this in the uh uh Star Me video, I think. But basically what they're gonna try to do is paralyze you or put some sort of status condition on you and they're just going to wrap you and poison's gonna tick away or something like that. Now these also have growth and it's very annoying. This this whole fight's annoying. Now we're paralyzed, but rest I'm telling you guys, I don't like rest. I don't ever use rest. I've done what, like fifty plus videos at this point? I just don't use rest. But for this specific run, it has been the most, it's been a godsend. It's been the absolute best thing I've ever seen in my life. This fight was borderline impossible. There was like a 99.9% .9 chance that you were going to fail. Now we're poisoned and getting wrapped while poisoned is absolutely awful. Why? Is, it, is this thing outspeeding me? Am I going to die? Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not showing this again. You guys get the gist. If I get poisoned, paralyzed, I wanna rest up. I can't keep doing this. I'm I'm 45 minutes into my time. I will just say that I love it when you're doing a solo run and there's like this obstacle in the way. And for me, my favorite part about solo runs is when you solve a problem without just over leveling it. And for me, I had this eureka moment. I was like, what if I got rest? Could I heal through this damage and beat this last with rest? And sure enough, you guys seen only one reset. And the one reset was kind of, you know, kind of bullshit. Hard in my French. But, you know, not too bad. So, I probably pick back up whenever we get out of Rock Tunnel. There is one more grass trainer inside of Rock Tunnel. But, there's no wrapping bell sprout waiting for you after you get paralyzed so it shouldn't be too bad with rest so we'll pick back up in celadon guys okay i definitely underestimated this fight no resets but jesus christ i barely hung on with five hp not not great guys all right in celadon we are uh, going to the rocket hideout first makes the most sense i would say and I think you already know. Um, I do this in just about every one of my runs. We are going to be picking up the high money items. There's a couple of nuggets in here. Um, and then we're going to fight Giovanni. We're a water top. I think you kind of already know how it's going to go. I'm going to pick up the PP ups. It's kind of an adjustment I got written down. Um, I don't pick up the PP ups th uh, that often anymore. After rounding out the Parasect run and not needing it, I just, I've gotten away from it. And I will be picking up Double Edge. I don't think I really need it. Looking back, I don't think I really need it. Uh, there's a nugget down here. It's a little extra money. I just don't think I really need it that much. But I'm just going to get it just to have it. Because I did use it in some of my test runs. Maybe I should just go ahead and just use it a little bit. I'm kind of just talking to myself at this point. Or not. Well... If we're being, like, meta about it, aren't I always just talking to myself? You know what I mean? Alright, guys. Just for a limited time, just this once, I'm gonna be showing Giovanni number one. I'd, I'd probably throw in a free rival number four because it's not... There's some 
trials and tri oh my god is this Kangaskhan gonna beat my ass rage it used rage guys rage is funny all right I am going to replace uh, we'll just replace water gun with double edge it's kind of like a temporary solution mainly I need to get rid of a item slot um, it's very weird to have a diglet by the way uh, but anyway yeah we're gonna learn double edge real quick and we're gonna pick up fly because I completely lost my train of thought and forgot what I was doing for a second oh my god I can't hold it okay my, I'm, I'm having some inventory problems I need to right now while I got you here I need to I need to deposit a couple of items normally I don't do this I got away from it it wastes a lot of time but in runs where I'm trying to hold out a little bit uh, I just I you really need to all right let's take a look at rival number four uh, real quick not gonna be the craziest rival fight sand attack that's not what I want to see if I fail this time I'm not showing you guys this fight again Gyarados guys ladies and gentlemen it's Gyarados I might have to use rest here what I'm gonna do is just smoke screen his ass hit double edge I missed I'm just gonna go ahead and rest because if he hits dragon rage like he just did voila but the thing is I don't have a lot of HP he missed thank god is there a Growlithe I would uh, yes I've never been more happy in my life to see a Growlithe guys thank god there's a Growlithe here but you see already how rest is just coming in clutch I'm really worried about this. I'm gonna smoke screen. I'm gonna smoke screen twice, and I'm gonna rest. You see how rest affords you this? You can almost be—I don't know. It's—it's it's hard to describe rest. Scott Stotts uses it a lot, but that's because he's using real life time. Stop! Why am I? Am I missing my smoke screen, or am I just not comprehending something right now? Jesus Christ, I'm leech seated. Two double edges, we can get through this. Good. That's rival number four, guys. Rival number four. Not great, but with rest, I didn't have rest in one of my playthroughs. It was the worst run, one of the worst runs I've ever done in my life. So, rest makes that possible. Okay, we're wrapping up Pokemon Tower. Uh, wasn't too bad, the Ghastly's. We're actually. Um, Horsey's actually rather speedy, so it wasn't that bad at all. And now I think I can cut out this next part as well. I'm just going to be going down into the Safari Zone to pick up my final HMs of the run and get a couple of more little money items, and we'll get access to Surf, and we could just pick up right after that. Another little tiny adjustment that I'm making in this specific run from my other runs, um, I can't carry more items, cool, is that. I'm actually going to sell the protein and the carbos that I picked up uh, down in uh, the safari zone because agility is going to be my badge boosting move. I don't need more speed and that will just give us more uh, money to play around with here. Very pivotal here is picking up ice beam. Um, I played around with only using blizzard later in the run. but. It just wasn't that great. So I need to drop a save here to see how many uh, vitamins I can actually use. I have seven calciums. Can I use all of them? I can. That is absolutely perfect. And we can teach Ice Beam. And we are going to be replacing... Probably should replace Smoke Screen. I'm going to keep Smoke Screen just for now. It doesn't really matter. Either one of those moves is going to get replaced soon enough anyway. And now I'm going to be training. I'm going to battle every single trainer inside of this gym. Um, I should have picked up the Max Elixir. I actually had it written down to do that, but I forgot. But I do think that 20 uses of it with an Elixir should be good enough. So this is where I made some adjustments. This will allow me to get some levels. And it'll allow those calciums that I just picked up to start kicking in when we start to get towards some of the harder parts of the game, I guess. At level 37, we get agility, and I'm going to replace smoke screen. 
And we'll talk a little bit more in detail about that a little bit later, but as for now, that's all you really need to know. And if everything works out just perfectly here on Erica, I should have just, well, I have one extra. Just in case, see we can tank that, perfect. So I was about to say, we have one extra just in case I don't one shot the Vile Plume, and we didn't. Or not the Vile Plume, but the Victory Bell. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, whatever. Okay, we got put to sleep, so it looks like... Ah, oh, it's another reset. Man, this run was very easy and consistent with the Ice Beam strategy in the other run. And I even trained a little bit extra here. I have it... Where's it at? Clear out Erica's gym for some easy experience so you can make up... Okay, I got it written down. Stop putting me to sleep, you little... Okay. So it looks like we're gonna need a little bit of luck here. S please stop putting me to sleep. Even if I wake up, I'm dead. Okay, this one's not good. I don't mind the resets. I don't necessarily mind. Like, no one thought Horsey was gonna be... Uh, no pun intended here. No one thought Horsey was gonna be like this dark horse run. I need a crit. Well, how about this? Why don't I play this smart? Why don't I just use rest? I mean, that's the fucking reason I got it, right? Because we actually wake up. We can wake up during its other turns. Okay, so we're not going to knock this out. Probably go from... Oh, it missed. And a surf can finish it off. So that was... Well, you need to get lucky on the victory bell. Um, either to go straight razor leaf or to miss a sleep powder or something like that. So that part, you definitely still need some luck on that. But I think now we're just going to go straight to Fuchsia. I think this makes the most sense. So we're going to clear out these trainers and then we are going to face Koga. Alright, Koga shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think anything could outspeed us, but I am going to set up just one agility just to make sure that happens. And I am running incredibly low on Surf. I didn't know that. Oh man, a critical hit into the poison? That's just not that fair. I don't like this. Looking like this is not gonna... Oh my god, we have rest! I don't use rest ever, guys, so like, it's easy for me to forget it, but Jesus Christ, it's, it's such a savior. This went from a guaranteed reset, self-destruct, please survive, you little, oh my god, woo, woo, baby, that's what I'm talking about. The newt newt, the newtster, hanging on, yes. Okay, that puckered me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a reset for sure. I was talking about how... Whew. That's why you play the game, baby. Now, this is the wrong order. I just... Can Diglett learn strength? Why well, can't Diglett learn strength? Diglett's a strong little boy. We'll have to come back. Don't forget. I have to tell myself this every other run. Do not forget. Go to mom. Get our PP back from mom. Somebody commented on that the other day. I didn't even mean it that way, but... You know, it is what it is. You know how people are in the comments. Alright, guys. We're taking a nice, brisk, little, serene, serendipitous, perfect swim down to Cinnabar. And guys, today, like a lot of times, there will be no extra trainers today. Even though, maybe this won't come back to bite me. Uh, maybe we need the extra trainers. I don't know. We're just going off a of feel here, but we got some, we got a little bit of Tombstoner Alright. Got that out of my system. Do that once a week. Kinda starts getting to you a little bit, you know. I shouldn't even have to save here. I could probably just turbo A all the way through the spot. I'm not even looking at the screen right now, guys. I'm blindfolded, I'm yawning, I'm taking a drink of some Mountain Dew. Uh we're good. We're good. Stop stomping me! Jesus what's happening? Did he just flinch me? Three times in a row? Did I see that right? Oh my god. Jesus. Alright. Special badge boost. Very important badge boost to have. Now, I did this new routing. Um, I even tested out going to Saffron uh, first. Actually, we'll heal in Saffron. 
it doesn't really save any time here but in the parasect run I've, i'm pretty sure i walked over here as soon as the palette changes you can immediately fly back to it and you can fly straight to the pokemon center and this means that when you dig out after the giovanni fight you'll immediately be right back into saffron then you can go pick up a mimic if you're going to use it and whatnot so it's a pretty good little time save so we're also going to be doing the bare minimum here um i'm hoping that's going to work out i think it is i think we're i think we're well on pace to be what level we need to be at what level does that make any sense we're, we're on pace to be where we need to be at what time we need to be it i'm just gonna stop talking all right this fight gave me absolute fits on my test runs i tried like 18 different ways how to get past it um but we are higher level here still can't one shot the pidgeotto so whatever now the gyarados is where the problems come in really dragon rage is just so oppressive but we kept rest there were runs where i didn't keep rest and i'm hoping that the yeah because god that's doing so much damage i need to start doing some damage back to him did i already said am i stupid am i just a complete idiot look how much damage bot is doing now I can't do anything to that. Okay, I can I can plan this better. I can plan this out better. Let me, I need to take a look at my notes. What did I write down about this fight? Not, not much of shit. Thanks, past Matt. Okay, I think we just tank whatever the Pidgeot throws at us. And we hope maybe Surf probably does more damage. Okay, I don't want to take a risk of him using uh, Dragon Rage, which he did. Double back-to-back -back Dragon Rage. Oh, I can't keep this pace up. It does too much damage. He's a Leer. Stop it. Oh my god, I can't keep it up. Please use a Leer or something. Buddy. Jesus Christ, buddy. I'm going to take a risk here. Did the risk just pay off? I think it did, boys, because everyone's favorite pathetic and useless puppy's up next, and it's Growlithe. Just in time for us to rest and sweep through him. We didn't level up. Now, there is a big problematic thing. We're going to level up. Stop doing so much damage. We're going to level up right before the Venusaur. So maybe we can get lucky here. Venusaur Sprite is immaculate. This Sprite is amazing. I will say that while I'm just sitting here wasting in-game time. Uh, Ice Beam's not going to one-shot. Hopefully it'll do half health and he'll go for like Leech Seed. Oh my god, I just crit. Cool. I'll take that. Now apparently since Diglett, our big muscular Diglett can't use strength, I guess we'll have to get this Lapras. Did it already yeah, I picked it up already. We got a squad going today. We got us a little squad. I'm gonna save it because I'll fucking forget. I thought I was gonna have us a little reset here, boys. We got pretty low on that one. Uh, I'm running very low on potions, but thankfully this is essentially the end of the game. We're sitting on 21 resets, which isn't great. What did we have? 29 total? I don't remember what the mo I don't remember resets. I don't remember. What is time? Time is a construct of man, guys. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember the most resets that we've had in a run. Okay, I am going to be skipping Mimic today. I just couldn't find a great use for it. Uh, but anyway guys if you want to know there's an alternate way you can do this puzzle and I did it in my Parasect runs uh, Parasect, 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 I'm saying that a lot throughout my past videos But up, down, down, left, save at the top You want to save right here, I'll talk about this in the Parasect video But you want to save up top because when you reload you're always facing down in Pokemon Generation 1 for some reason So I don't know how to handle this We have rest that's just that's just cool and you guys might be saying double edge would be perfect right here but double edge isn't that great um trust me guys i've done lots of testing 
We do have badge boost. I am gonna set up. I have agility. I have rest. Cause you No I don't nobody wants to learn hydro pump. No one's ever wanted to learn hydro pump. Stun spore. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh no, stun spore. Why is he doing so much damage? And I'm confused. Okay, we're gonna need a little luck here. Once again. So we're gonna go for Ice Beam for the cheeky little freeze chance. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I think it can go better. If that Venomoth hadn't have uh, used Stun Spore on us, I think we would have won that one. But it is what it is, you know. So recover. Pretty decent. Stop using recover. Okay, we crit. I'm telling you. We're gonna use agility. Hopefully we can get like a barrier. Stop using double slap. Light screen's not good. All I have is special moves. But it's really not that bad. So we're gonna hope no one wants to learn Hydro Pump ever. Okay. Hope for the crit. Don't get it. We're gonna go ahead and rest away this paralysis and hope we don't get confused. Leech life is what I like to see. Weak and pathetic. That's the way I like my Venom Moss. Okay, set up Reflect. That's perfect. Use Reflect again. Use Reflect a third time. It just bugged out, and I'll take that any day of the week, baby. Alright. And don't be like me, guys. Don't... Well, I've already picked up Strength, but don't forget to get this Rare Candy. Usually I forget all the time. I forget to get Strength. I make it all the way to Victory Road, and I'm like, oh, cool. No wonder my time was so good, because I forgot a crucial element of the game. Alright, we got Giovanni, last gym leader. Do I really need to... I probably could have just skipped over this, because, I mean... Surf, 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 surf. Uh, Doug Trio actually got off a move, so that's pretty fascinating, I guess. But, I mean, decent special combined with uh, surf? Oh man, it's an absolute demolition. Who's surprised? Okay, so this fight was not great in testing. I had to use a bunch of rare candies, and I'm not opposed to doing that now. But I am a lot higher level than I was, so we just go ahead and crit there. I'm gonna set up one agility, because I probably level up. I know that Gyarados is coming up. Gyarados, my god. When is Gyarados not just an absolute menace to the run? We crit though, that's pretty good. Okay, is it a Growlithe next? And we leveled up. I love Growlithe. I love Growlithe for all the wrong reasons. You know, I don't love it because it's a good Pokemon. I love it because it's a break in a tough fight to where I can just set up and actually have a chance to win. Now this is going to be bad. Oh. Okay, we're going to take a risk. Risk with rest. A resty risk. Okay, it recovered all his health, so... Please stop. I don't like this. Razor Leaf. Oh, Vine Whip, and we survive. Uh, little, little first one-shot victory. It's actually pretty good. Now, this late game is what I really kind of refined. I hate using rare candies on Pokemon that can evolve. It's so annoying. But anyway, I'm going to use my rare candies. Uh, all... I may not even have to get the Victory Road candy. I'm so far ahead. Originally, I just wanted to get to level 55 on Lorelai. That's all I wanted. And now we're at 56, and I have one more candy that I can get. So hell, I could just go ahead and just use an extra candy. And I'll just pick up that Victory Road candy. Of course I get an encounter there. I always do. Um, one of the funniest things... We'll talk about it in just a second. Okay, so one of the funniest things in the Parasect run, your time's, your double week to flying. In this little patch of grass right here, look. Go through it. You can go through that thing like a hundred times and not even get ever get an encounter. But this one person, <laughs> this one person went through it. They were having a pretty decent run. They went through it and, uh... <laughs> they went through it and the, a Fero, like a level 40-something Fero came through and uh, 
I should save it right here. Level 40 Pharaoh came through and just drill pecked them twice and ended their entire run. It was it was amazing. I gotta stop talking, I gotta focus up. Make it through here. And we'll talk about the Elite Four when I get there. Alright, Lorelai, attempt number one. Now I think like since I've been recording some stuff into bulk right here, I haven't got uh, your guys' opinion on um, saving between Elite Four members. I think I'm gonna do away with it. And today, live, I'm getting, I'm doing away with it. Now, I want this Dugong to use Growl a bunch. Please, Dugong. It's missing Growl. Don't miss Growl. Just Growl me. Need a few Growls. You're not growling. That's not okay. Okay, we we've seen enough. It's not using rest, which is very not dugong like, especially considering that we resist its other moves. Now, I want to rest. I'm gonna save my rest. I'm hurting myself here. I'm saving my rest for Jinx. I think Jinx is gonna be the weakest. And we'll save our rest for that. Now this fight was absolutely awful at first. Like I said, I did a couple of runs. One of them I didn't have rest. And without rest, this run is doomed. Not very good. Okay, Lapras is a piece of shit. Please, Lapras, don't do it to me. Now the good thing is, and what makes turns this fight around, which it doesn't matter. Um, loves to just get those uh, par paralysis procs with body slam, and with rest you can just pretty much negate that. So this is why you say four, uh, four or four elixirs because you need one after Lorelai. Now this one, I'm just gonna be a little safe. Couple of agilities don't even need them. I don't think I need them at all. This is just to make sure that I knock everything out in one hit except for the Machamp. So this one should be another typical, stereotypical Bruno fight. Is it already almost over? Jesus Christ. I thought I was just talking. Bruno's already on. It's done. Done with. Okay. I'm going to save. We are doing away with the rule. I'm not using a rare candy here. This is why I think this is good. You have to choose to save or not. I, you know what I mean? I just, if you don't like it, cool. Sorry about it. I think it's just a dumb rule. Okay, so I think surf. One. I want to use one more agility, but I'm afraid of hypnosis, and I was rightfully so. Rightfully so. Rightfully so, please. Okay, we have a chance. No, we don't. Okay. You see, guys? You see how, how it be sometimes? So, I like to just get right back into the action. I just feel like if I had to start over and do those first two little tedious spots over again, just like, what's the point? What does that do for me? Okay, I should have used two. Wake up. Oh my god, okay. We're resetting today. Just imagine, like, on a stream. Like, if I was streaming, imagine streaming and then having to redo the rest of the Elite Four over. It sounds... It sounds so beyond awful. Okay, it's gotten me a little bit low, but I can just rest. Confused Race, God, it's so... Agatha's so annoying. You think Agatha's self-aware about how annoying she is? Why did I use Surf? Why am I using Surf? Okay, so if I act first, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna go for like a Dream Eater. Not Shade. Okay, that's not bad, because I can just rest. You see how handy rest is for this run? Rest, honestly, rest has impressed me a lot. 
you know? Normally I'm like Shania Twain, you know? It don't impress me much, you know? But this run specifically was turned around with rest. Jesus Christ, chill! I'm gonna rest again. Notoriously bad AI. Like, surely it can't keep this up. It was lucky that I woke up that turn. Now, I got toxic on me, but I can just rest. As long as we don't get, like, a bunch of critical hit acids or something. I think two surfs can do the job. One, one can do it. There we go. It's not that bad. Really, honestly and truly, rest is where the turnaround comes. Now, for here... I am gonna go Blizzard. Maybe I could have done this earlier, but there's really not much places that it really helps. Now, just to make things a little bit more consistent and make it just not absolutely straight up worse than uh, Ice Beam, I'm gonna use two PP Ups. I think that gets us up to seven uses, maybe? Full Restore. And now I just have a bunch of extra rare candies. I'm afraid... Okay, I'm gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do. Since we're saving in between Elite Four members, I'm gonna save it here. I'm going to use all of my rare candies. And I'm hoping that this puts us at a weird experience range to where maybe I level up before the Venusaur on the champion fight. So, we got rest. Turn one Hyper Beam crit would suck. It's got to recharge. Now I can just rest. That's gonna hurt. Oh my, that hurt so bad. This is not looking good. Ah. Okay, we gotta be a little bit more proactive on the Gyarados, I think. So I can go ahead and just use that rare candy again. And that's all fine. Let's just see how it happens. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna start out with Blizzard. That wasn't a- oh, it used Leer. Okay, so I could probably sweep now. But what I'm gonna do is rest. Just to play it safe. God damn, that does a lot of damage. Okay, what I'm gonna do is rest. It does a lot of damage too. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Okay, what I'm gonna do is rest. Okay, what I'm gonna do is die. Jesus Christ, I should've just went for the sweep. I should've just went for the sweep. Okay, if Gyarados uses too many leers or something like that, not too bad. Okay, we froze it solid. I forgot to use an elixir, I think. But I think we'll be fine. Stop, you don't use a hyper potion, you little son of a tootie. Okay, if he's gonna do that... Why don't I just... I should just set up. What am I doing? I need to save one surf. And I'm already set up. I'm already... I'm speedy. I'm the fastest little seahorse I missed. I'm the fastest little seahorse there is. So we use our surf on Aerodactyl. Hit Blizzard. And that's it. The Newtster has done it once again. I definitely forgot to use an elixir there. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually not going to save it. Because I can just reset back there. Because I don't know if the candy is going to put us in a bad range. Oh, it's going to put us in a great range. Look, we're almost leveling up here. So I'm not going to use anything. I'm going to use one single agility. So that I can outspeed the Alakazam. Because this might be troublesome. I'm just going to go straight surfs. Hopefully it'll set up like reflect or something like that. There we go. Yeah, double reflect. There we go. And what's next? Ride on these nuts. I'm fairly certain that we will not level up again. So we just got three badge boosts. It used Leer. I got two agilities. Oh god, we're in a similar situation. 
you guys remember that Macho Man Randy Savage cream of the crop? Oh man. Uh, I don't I don't remember it off the top of my head. I wish I did. Unjustifiably in a position I'd rather not be in. Oh my God! Thank God. We did we just luck out? Did we just win this damn thing? We're gonna rest on the Arcanine. Hopefully he he roars or does whatever. Jesus Christ! That does a lot of damage. No! All the times I made fun of Growlithe. So we are all the way back before Lance. So let me just beat Lance real quick, guys. Yeah, Lance is pretty free. Uh, pretty free once you know. Uh, that you should just go straight Blizzard on the Gyarados. So it's pretty free. We just did it, you know, pretty much directly after. So that means we can save point here. And let's get this bread. Let's fuck this duck, shall we? Um, this time, no agility on the Pidgeot. This is going to make our Alakazam fight potentially worse. But I'm willing to take that risk. Crit. Reflects pretty good too. Oh, it's a little range. We did crit though. So I'm going to take this opportunity to use three agilities. That's five badge boosts. We just got five badge boosts. Our defense is lowered. And that's a little bit scary on old Gary here. Please don't do it. Jesus Christ, you did it. You son of a bitch, you did it. And I know in my live commentary, guys, I know I curse a little bit more than I normally do. But that's just authentic me. You know what I mean? That's just how it happens. And I've gotten one comment from a guy that was like, you curse a little bit too much for me. Uh, a little bit too much cursing for my taste. Don't fucking watch. You know what I mean? That That's a little bit too far, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Stop hurting yourself. I shouldn't say that. I do value you guys, your opinion. And I think that the fact that in 95% of my videos, I don't really curse. I might say one of one per video or something like that. I don't curse a whole lot. I think that you can take one or two videos out of 20 where I curse a lot. So this is not going... This is getting annoying, is what it's getting. I'm just gonna rest. <sighs> Don't make me do it. Why don't I just... Set up agility. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 30 resets. New record out of all the three runs. Fourth run now, I guess. That we've done this is the most resets I've ever had but the thing is the runs still pretty good like, look at that time guys like we have a chance to get sub four hours which is pretty good by our standards so I'm just gonna take all the risk here don't crit you did my special drop I'm not gonna know. I am gonna edit this video a little bit and cut out stuff. I'm not gonna know. I think my special dropped there. That's just unlucky. That's just unlucky, guys. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here's the goal. Agility. And make it out of here good. It's not ideal to set up on the Alakazam, but you might as well. And that was just perfect right there. And we're already set up. So this means that we don't have to get those extra Leer badge boost and just risk uh, getting one shot by a Hyper Beam. That really wasn't that much damage. Please, okay, it was a range. Now I could just one shot this little pup, but I need to rest. I'm gonna keep resting until I get lucky. Leer's pretty good. Double Leer, that's really good. So we're one, two, three, four, five times boosted. We can actually just look. Wow. Our speed's really high. I leveled up. Oh, perfect. We win. Winner, winner. Chicken uh, dinner. You're not evolving. Not on my watch. 
That was pretty good. Now this run was pretty good. It took out some, it was some pretty unique routing. Uh, but overall, I really liked it. So our final time is about 3.56. I'll have to look at the editing and see exactly when that frame hit up. But 3.56 something. Um, honestly, pretty good run. I'm going to real quick, uh, I'm going to go to my folders and I just want to find... Honestly, I can't remember the last Pokemon I did. Kabuto. I remembered instantly. So, for Kabuto... Wow! This is the number... This is faster than Vulpix. This is the number three fastest pre-evolved run. It doesn't seem right, and I know, like... Like, now we got these resets in here. So we could know, like, let's say, I don't know, we can't go back and look, because I don't have the full videos of this stuff. But, like, we can go back and just be like, well, Horsey had 31 resets. So if you have a run that's like, let's say, let's just say for the sake of argument, you have a run that's like 4 hours and 2 minutes. And it's like, okay, well, Horsey had 6 minutes faster, but it reset 31 times. While you have this run that's uh, four minutes and or four hours and two minutes, and it only reset nine times. So I think in those kind of situations, you can start to kind of see like if I was to rank that four hour run ahead of it, I think you could justify that and people would be okay with that. But we're not going to know until we gather more data. This is the first pre-evolved run I had with resets. So so far we've done War Turtle, Executor. Uh, Palkia Cross Gen, which we don't put those in the tier list anyway, and uh, this run. So this is the first one. So, there we go. And we got, a uh, oh, uh, guys, you hear that? I just, what's that? Bonus footage? We're going to give them bonus footage on a live video? What? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at Mewtwo, and we're going to give you guys a live Mewtwo run. Now, we have Rest. Probably want to set up an agility. I think that's probably enough. Yikes! Okay, one shot crit. Okay, that's not great. I feel good about one agility. I don't want this to devolve into. Um. God, it does so much damage though. I don't want this to devolve into trying to fish for a freeze proc. Oh my god, it looks like it might be going that way though. I'll give it like five resets. Oh wow. Turn one, socket critical hit. Now if there's just anything that Horsey was very poor at, it was its HP stat. Uh, throughout the entirety of the run, I really felt it. Like, in so many different ways. That's why Rest makes it so good. Wait a second. What? Mewtwo! You're supposed to be the best! He just bugged out on us and used, uh... Barrier over and over, and there we go. I guess Alakazam likes to do that sometimes too. But it is what it is, guys! And we did it! So we're sitting here 3 hours 56 minutes. Now, I bring up Parasect a lot. I'm sorry, guys. I might be the Parasect champion. I'm not saying I am or not yet. I don't know yet. But anyway, like... I've gotten so much more efficient at these runs that you can see that this run wasn't smooth. Like we had a ton of resets, uh, but I was able to navigate through this run, and even though it didn't look great, I was still able to almost get like a t I got a top three time for pre-evolved Pokemon. Like, it's pretty good. I'm very excited to do really good runs with this. So far we've done War Turtle, which I mean, War Turtle can't be a top 10 Pokemon. I don't think it actually is. Uh, Executor, trash. We seen Palkia get an incredible time, but it doesn't count on the tier list. And we saw little lowly Horsey get a top three pre-evolved time. So I'm excited to see Charizard next week. I think Charizard will be the next Pokemon, but don't quote me on that. We're gonna probably, I wanna do Charizard and Moltres cause they share a topping and I just wanna see. But guys, I don't really have much more for you today. 
Uh, I've been recording a couple of hours. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but after doing the times four training for the San Quee runs, uh, times two was a little bit too slow. So think about this. I've been doing runs on times three speed, which means that it probably slows down my end game time even more. So think about that, I guess. But I don't have much more for you. Uh, fun run. I enjoyed it. Like I said at the start, originally I just wanted to get Horsey out of the way because I want to do Horsey and Cedra so that we can set up for that eventual Kingdra cross-gen run because I really like Kingdra a lot. And in hindsight, it makes sense why Horsey and Cedra are the dragon type Pokemon even before it had the evolution. But it's kind of one of those like what came first, the chicken or the egg type deal, but we'll never know. And I'm kind of rambling on. But guys, I hope you have the most amazing week of your life. And, you know, maybe you enjoy these full commentary runs. I know I like doing them. I'm hoping that it's not too long, but I felt like I talked kind of a lot today. So I'm expecting this video to be pretty long. But if you like that, just let me know. Uh, anyway, that's about all I got for you. And I hope this footage looks good. I did some testing and I stopped the moving Pokeballs in the background. That alone was doubling my CPU usage. So I think we got us a very clean, very crisp 1080p recording today and it should look fantastic. But alright guys, that's about all I got for you. Bye! Did I say that weird? Bye. 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 Brother.